Welcome to uh, a car edition of T Log. I think it's Tuesday already. But I figured uh, we're going to stack some tasks. So, for those that know me, you know that earlier this year I destroyed my shoulder and uh, right now I'm at the point where PT kind of ended but I still get my shoulder work done and right now I'm going to get my shoulder work done. So, um, so I'm in the car cruising and uh, just got to thinking let's turn the camera on and record. So I'm going to clip this here. So, uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to what I call HQ2, my car, my truck. And uh, for the next few minutes, I'll be cruising to, uh, to my appointment. I don't know why I said that. It's completely stupid and irrelevant. Today, I have been uh, deep down in, much like yesterday, emails and reaching out to the folks and sponsors and closing out on tasks that need to be done but it got me thinking um, and what's been on my mind a lot is when you start something new and just how scary it is and even though this TC in Texas is um, I mean even though that conference is not new um, TC in Texas very much is and um, I forgot, you know, quite honestly, I forgot all the things that kind of went into one of those new, new endeavors um, in the sense that, you know, our first year it took, it took two years to get it off the ground or it took two years until we had the first event and it was intentional. We wanted to make sure we we, I mean, we didn't have anything, so we were starting from zero. Unlike this time, you know, we've got all the all the things, and we know how to run an event. So, um, but I don't know that I gave enough credit or respect to the um, the amount of networking. Um, the amount of just making sure you're plugged in in all the right spots. You know, over, over time that stuff becomes naturally kind of ingrained. Not ingrained, becomes natural to your... Um, boy, that's not the word either. Just becomes part of your kind of DNA, if you will. And uh, us in Texas, we're not really part of the DNA. And that's what I'm trying to get built and that's the thing that I think from you know TC overall probably haven't done the best job of of doing which is just being in more and more of the fabric of things and that's a huge goal for me with that.us and um, of course TC growing to another city and um, the things that we're trying to do kind of overall as a as an effort as part of our vision so um, being in that fabric is important, um, but it's hard. It makes me question, did we move too fast? Did we move carelessly? Um, I don't know that there was necessarily a right time. The time was something where we are right now with all this COVID crap and it was just something we were battling with anyways. Um, I don't know. I, I, I do constantly probably question myself a little too much at times, but I don't know. You know, I don't, uh, you know, it's been a couple of years for most people that they've ever been to an event and, uh, you know, here we are kind of back in the, I don't want to say in the mix of things, but you know, back at it, and a lot's changed in a couple of years. You know, the inflation's gone up. Heard this morning, inflation's at a 30-year high. 
Uh, things have naturally gotten more expensive. Labor's gone up quite a bit. It's been, you know, all the labor things that have gone on the past couple of years. You know, all that stuff trickles down, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. It's just some people have a little bit of sticker shock. I, I know we did. Um, and we've been, we deal with it every, every, uh, every year or so. You know, I posted out on, on LinkedIn, if you uh, are following, following me there, I post a number of things on LinkedIn around uh, just community involvement and how people look into it. And, you know, I got to thinking about schedules because we talk about schedules a lot, but schedules are only a, a, a like a small piece of the overall experience at a conference. And yet when you're trying to sell something to your boss, you know, they're not looking at all of the other benefits. And that had me a little bit, or that has me a little bit concerned at times. I don't, I don't know if that's a legit thing, but you know, sometimes the, uh, the boss interaction is a very transactional, you know, I'm paying for this, so you will get blah de blah experience that you can make blah de blah more revenue and that bullshit doesn't really work for me um I get that that's part of some realities but it shouldn't really be the reality if you will so so we're going to try to do some things to try to make it easier I, I don't they, they won't be in play for Texas but maybe for Wisconsin um but some things that make it easier for somebody to help sell sell their boss. Um, I don't know. You know, I get... Uh, it's weird to have this time with you. Um, it's weird to know people watch this or may not watch it. I'm trying to be as open and honest as I can you know, from a daily perspective and the things going on in my dome and, and the stresses and and all that. You know, I think I said yesterday, you know, we don't have all the answers. Things are busy. I mean, I haven't, I mean, I've worked a lot in my career, but the last two years have been a real ass kicking. It's been a lot of fun, but um, there's just been a lot. Now, my shoulder didn't really help matters any. And if you, for, you know, for whatever reason, if you don't know, because maybe you're new and that's awesome. My name's Clark. Nice to meet you. I, I got in a snowboarding mishap, a little unlucky, ended up catching the front end of my board, flipped head over heels. It was right at the end of the season, so everything was icy. Uh, didn't stick to landing, blew out my shoulder, dislocated it, ripped up the rotator cuff, broke my arm. I now have a plate, six screws, and um, I'm slowly trying to get my arm back to normal. So that's not the uh, funnest of stories. Um, and I have to work the last, I guess, what is this, November? That happened in February. So um, my time in and out of hospitals and PT and therapy and all that has been a lot you know at one point I only had one arm to use and was typing so it's been real kicking ass but notwithstanding could have been a lot worse um, so you know like I said or like I was alluding to earlier I posted a number of things on on LinkedIn today around you know, just community overall. I'm going to keep doing that. So, you know, love the conversation to continue there. You can always comment below. Um, I'm curious what people would like to hear. I, you know, as an, I guess if you officially brand myself as an organizer, there's so many things that I would have thought or hoped that people would ask or do, and people just don't. I can't really see around that camera, um, which I think is, I don't know, sad. Maybe they just don't know. So maybe this bit of sharing is a good thing. Um, so, you know, feel free to ask. 
I'd love to answer the questions. Gives me a little direction to talk to. Um, definitely don't get in a snowboarding accident. Uh, so, yeah, that's, um, that's me. I don't know if I rambled or not. I hope not. I hope the audio is actually on on this puppy because I couldn't really see it. Um, but that's me. Happy Tuesday. Uh, hit the old subscribe button. I think we're 10, 10 people away from 600. There's no reason that 600 is not really a milestone in any stretch, but I don't know. Every 100 is cool. Um, every one is cool, to be quite honest. Um, leave your leave your comments, your questions, you know, below or throw them up on Twitter. Um, would love to know if you've been at that conference before or if you're an organizer. How can we help you? What would you, uh, I don't know, what would you like to know? What would you like to hear? So that's me. Thankfully, I'm almost at PT. It looks like the battery's running out on this thing. So that's another Tuesday. No, nope, that's a Tuesday edition of our little vlog here. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.